Visual Studio assists you in writing readable code by automatically indenting and aligning your text. Many people use the default settings without a second thought, but with a little effort, you can configure the formatting so that you have better control over how your code is arranged. I'm inside this project called Aligning Your Code, and I've opened this book.cs file. The first step in understanding the alignment of your code is to visualize what's happening by Visual Studio. To do that, we're gonna go to the Edit menu and choose Advanced. Now, there are a lot of interesting things in this menu, but the one I'm looking for is here, View White Space. Now you can see inside my document, these blue dots, those represent the spaces. For instance, if I type a couple spaces here on line 21, you see they show up as dots. If I press the Tab key, you'll see they show up as arrows. That's how I can differentiate between the two. Let's go see what the default settings are for tabs and indents. We'll go to Tools Options and go to the Text Editor section. I'm going to choose the All Languages tabs. That means any changes I make in here will affect every single code editor and I'm gonna click on the tab section. Currently, the tab size and the indent size are set to match, and they're set to four spaces. I prefer to use two spaces because I can see more on my screen. Now, if I click this to insert spaces instead of keeping tabs, let's see what happens. Click on OK, and now I'm gonna go down to this line and press the tab key. Rather than putting a tab character in there, it puts a two space indent. Now we can discuss which is better, using spaces or tabs. There's been a lot of discussion over the years about which is better. My point is that you can pick which one you prefer and use it in your application. Next, I wanna talk about what happens when you indent. Let's go up to this line of code here where I have this comment and I'm gonna move down to the next line. I'm gonna press the enter key. Do you see where my cursor is? It's lined up with the comments on the line above. Now, as I start typing, it puts the spaces in there and my comment is indented at the same level. This is a smart indent feature. This also works with things like the if statement. So I'll come down to this line of code and I'll type in if. I'll press the tab key twice to stub this in and you see that Visual Studio automatically put the spaces here. So when I start typing my code in here, it's indented um, two spaces over from the curly braces. This is the way I like to work, but if you prefer a different layout, you can also change this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can go to Tools, Options, and say that I want to have no indenting. Now watch what happens when I move down to the next line. It no longer tries to keep it aligned with the line above. It will move it over to always to the front of the line. And now I have to manually hit the space bar or the tab key to get over to where I want. Let's try that with my if statement. I add another if statement here. See it's not indented. And then if I come down here and I move down a line, you'll see that it's not aligned with the curly braces anymore. I don't know why you'd wanna have this option, but it's available if you wanna turn it on. Now, before I close, I'm gonna turn off my white space and I'm gonna go back and set my settings to what I prefer, which is smart indenting and two units for tab size and indent size. Aligning your code correctly might seem like a minor enhancement, but you have to look at your code for hours at a time why not get it configured just the way you want?